Hey, what's up you guys? Chris here, back with another video, and I managed to get my hands on the Crown Zenith Morpeko V Union box. This box just came out about a week ago, and I managed to grab my hands on it when I was at my local game store. So I figured, why not open them up? Let's see if we can pull any good cards out of Crown Zenith. I'm still missing a whole bunch of chase cards. And just see what's included. This is our last set for Sword and Shield. So I kind of wanted to do this video just because it's we're, we're running towards the end. Like, you know, we're going to be full in on Scarlet and Violet in a couple months, weeks, however long. And I just want to show appreciation towards one of the best sets that actually came out during the Sword and Shield era. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's get into this. I haven't been able to open that many Crown Zenith packs, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can get. Let's just slide this right out. Okay, there we go. Looking nice. We got Marnie in the back over there, but if we start underneath, the first thing you end up getting is this awesome play mat with Marnie and Morpeko. I don't even know if it fits all in frame, but look at that. That's so cool. And then next, we're actually greeted with these Morpeko V Union cards, and they're pretty cool. I have never personally used V Union cards myself, but I do love that they like all connect into one. And they're very cute. Like, look at that more Pekka with Marnie on it. Let's see if we can grab these out. Oh, we're actually also greeted with a Professor Burnett card. Let's see if we can get all these out. I don't want to drop them all. So these are the V Union cards. I think you have to have them all in your hand in order to play them in the game. And then it also came with a Professor Burnett card, which I found was really interesting. We also get a Jumbo card version of the V Union card. And I kind of like just collecting these just because they look pretty cool, but look how nice that looks. The reflection with the hollow, and you see the sparkle in Marnie's eye. So cool. And finally, we got five booster packs from Crown Zenith. So let's open these bad boys up and see if we can pull anything good. All right, so let's start with the first card. Hopefully we can grab something pretty cool out of the set. This is a really nice set overall, but we gotta have luck here. The pull rates aren't as good as Scarlet and Violet. So we got, we're starting off with a black card, so that looks pretty good in our favor. And then we gotta do the four card trick. So we got Electric Energy, we got a Trekking Shoes, Shaman, love Shaman, Friends of Hisui, a Grubbin, we got a Skrelp, Helioptile, a Wulu, look how cute it is, Shinx, we got a Switch, and we got a Lycanroc. This is not hollow though, but it's still a cool looking card. But let's go into the next pack because we can only go up from here, right? Let's crack open this bad boy. Put this aside, one, two, three, four. All right, so this is our next pack. We got a Fighting Energy, a Rare Candy, a Dusclops, we got a Switch Energy, Sun Kern, Coughing, Bidoof, we got a Salandit, Purloin, a uh, reverse Calyrex, that's pretty cool, and an Oranguru, non-hollow as well. So no luck yet, guys, but we still got three more packs. I think we have a chance here to pull at least one good card, you know? What are the odds we pull one of the gold cards? Probably not high, but let's see. So we got another, I think this might be another one of those sets that guarantees the, like the black cards in it. Okay, ready? We got Fire Energy, a Soul Rock, we got a Rare Candy, a Luxio, we got a Sun Kern, a Bidoof again, Coughing, we got a Salandit, we got a Purloin, Pancham, ooh, we got a Zoroa VMAX, pretty solid, look at that, he's so shiny, let me bring this down just a little bit. He reflects so nicely. Let's put this in a sleeve ASAP so it doesn't get scratched. But that's a nice pull right there. He's looking good. Look at him. All right, we got two more packs though, guys. So let's hope we can pull even better. The thing about these, it's not like you don't get guaranteed stats like a booster box. Like you aren't guaranteed one hollow rare per box. So this one's a little more random. You can't get your hopes too high. So we got Psychic Energy, Crushing Hammer, Carnivine, we got a Rare Candy, Chatot, Mr. Mime, 
Sunkern. We got a Bidoof. Coughing. Ooh, we got a reverse hollow or a hollow energy and a gumshoes. He looks like Donald Trump. He's he's funny. I like him. <laughs> so that is great. We're just going to put him all over here. And we got our final pack. So let's see what we can get out of this bad boy. Can we beat the odds and pull something pretty awesome? I don't know, but we'll see in a matter of seconds, you know? One, two, three, four. All right, so we got Fire Energy, we got a Carnivine, Giraffe Rig, Switch Energy, we got a Snow Runt, Larvesta, Tangula, Ball Toy, Meowth. Reverse Rude, and hey, we got a Zacian V. Not not anything amazing, but still a pretty good pull compared to nothing. So, you know what? I'll take it. All right, guys. So in recap, we really just got this Electric Energy. We got this Zacian and this Zorua V Max. Those are like the coolest cards we actually pulled. But then we also still got our more Peko V Union card that cards that came in the box and our playmat. So what do you guys think? Do you think the more Peko V Union premium playmat collection box is worth the $40 it sells for in retail? Be sure to let me know in the comments and be sure to slam that subscribe button for future Pokemon and video game content.